Hi, I'm Doran Naad, graphic designer at Visual Web GUI. Today, I would like to go over some of the basics using the Visual Web GUI theme designer. In this short tutorial, I will show how to create a new theme in Visual Web GUI, how to customize the look of a Visual Web GUI control by altering its styles and the images composing it while explaining the Niners concept. Here is the Visual Web GUI application created with the default theme. In this example, our client wants to provide the entire application with their custom design as can be seen in the top and bottom panels. In order to alter the design, we need to open a Visual Studio, then right-click on Visual Web GUI project, select Add New Item, and from the menu, we pick Visual Web GUI theme. Name it Carp Comps, and click Add. Build a project and open the theme designer by clicking on the new theme. For this example, we'll change the buttons, images, and style to make it suitable for the client's design. At first, we overwrite the relevant images so we can edit them. Once overridden, we double click on the image in order to edit it in our graphic tool of choice, in this case, Adobe Photoshop. This image is a part of a button's normal state. Together with the group of additional eight other images, it makes what we refer to as a Niner. Most of the complex visual web GUI controls are either based on this Niner concept or a simpler three-year concept. A Niner is a concept that allows us to build steady, reliable controls with design flexibility to change their appearance and size. Let's copy our design from the original graphic sent by the client and paste it on the Niner. This is done in order to demonstrate the process. In real life, you can apply the parts directly to the Niner pieces. Putting it all as a Niner could be a good idea, but it sure isn't the only way to do it. Let's copy that piece. Go to the target image change its mode to RGB and paste. You can clearly see that the imported image is much smaller than the original piece. We delete the original layer crop the image to the size return the mode to indexed color and save. By saving it, we change the image used by the Niner and the system also automatically updates the new size of the image. After we altered all the images, we can also edit the styles. Let's edit the button for color and font face in the CSS editor to see how it works. First, we are going to click on the button on the skin tree on the left side so that the CSS editor is populated. Here you can see the different properties Visual Web GUI Theme Designer enables us to edit. Now let's select normal style, center style, and then we edit the button type style, color, and face type. Once we have altered all the images and styles of all the controls, we right-click on the project and select Build. Now we can see the application running with its new theme. This is how you customize a Visual Web GUI application and provide it with a new look using the Visual Web GUI Theme Designer. 